A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> When the rich grazing land of Texas was open to settlers, it brought wealth to many, but the honest ranchers found it hard to protect their property from outlaws and cattle rustlers. It was then that the masked rider of the plains rode in the cause of justice. Astride his great horse, Silver, he fought crime and criminals throughout the western United States, and no man did more to bring law and order to the frontier. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Someone's waiting for us in Crow Valley! Nestling at the foot of the High Ridge Mountains, Crow Valley was large and fertile enough to support half a dozen prosperous ranches. One of these, the Lazy M, was owned by Bill Owens, an old-time cattleman who had been the first to settle in the region. We see him now with his foreman, Utah Simpson, who had been in Bill's employ for more than 20 years. They are riding near the edge of the valley in the shadow of the towering hills. By the great horn, too, Utah. If we don't get evidence again that fellow this time, we might just well give up. Uh-huh. But I ain't hoping for much. I got a notion Nate Finch is plenty smart. Smart? I've been missing more critters in the last three years since he come here than in the whole 27 I was here before. You needn't tell me. I know. Utah. Huh? There's been horsemen here. Oh, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa there. Take a look there. And over there. By golly, someone was here, sure enough. And them pets weren't made by Injun's ponies, neither. The horses made them was plenty hefty. Oh, wait. Yeah? Them tracks lead over to them trees, and they're mighty fresh. Maybe... We're going to take a look, see. Get up there. Get, get up, up there. get up. Get up, get on. Maybe them tracks wasn't made by rustlers, but they sure was made by strangers, and any strangers around these parts now have got a plenty to explain. Uh-huh. Hey. Did you hear that, Bill? A horse and close by. Keep your six gun loose. Come on, boy. Get up. There we are. A masked man. And a redskin. Hey there. Yes. Heist your hands, mister. You two engine. Put down those guns, fellows. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Ah. Say, just how come you know my handle? I've been expecting you. What's that? I heard about the meeting the sheriff's called. I knew you'd be coming this way, so we waited for you. Well, I'll be doggone. Maybe you are, stranger. But you ain't going to get nothing because we got the drop on you. I'm not an outlaw, and I didn't plan to hold you up. Yeah? All we want is some information. Well, information comes cheap enough. Just what kind you hankering after. You've been losing cattle, haven't you? You didn't have to come to me to learn that. Everybody knows it. And everybody knows I ain't the only one losing cattle, neither. Yes? There's Mike Pearson, Judd Braley, and all of us having critters stole. 
Except Nate Finch. And you think Nate is responsible for your losses, is that it? I wouldn't put nothing past that low-down blowhard. It stands to reason he's got something to do with it. There was nothing missing until he bought out the Circle G three years ago. And out of the six outfits in the valley, his is the only one that ain't been bothered. You've told him you suspect him? We've told him a plenty, and all he does is laugh at us. He says if we can't prove nothing, to leave him alone. The ornery coyote. I can't understand why, if you suspect him, you can't prove your suspicions. We've sure tried hard enough. He's just too slick for us, I reckon. If he's taking your cattle, what do you suppose he does with them? <laughs> the fellow that can answer that question can write his own ticket. Yes? There ain't but one way for cows to be took from the valley, and that's by way of stovepipe pass. There's no other possible way? None at all, mister. And we've had the pass watch so blame careful, them critters would have to sprout wings and fly across to get by without our seeing them. Couldn't they be taken through the mountains? Sure they could. And by the time you got through, you'd have one cow out of ten left. And that wouldn't pay a rustler his wages. They couldn't be changing the brands, could he? Stranger, we thought of all them things long before you come here. And if Nate's got one critter with a blotted brand, I ain't never seen it. Then what's the idea of this meeting this afternoon? Well, we gotta do something. We're gonna ride from one end of Nate's range to the other. And if we find trace of anything at all crooked, he's sure gonna have to explain. I see. Any more questions you want to ask? I think that's all. Then I'll ask some. What's the idea of that mask? I can't explain that. You don't talk like no outlaw. But I never saw an honest man that wanted to hide his face. Yeah, and what are you so all fired interested in the rustling for? I want to help you. <laughs> maybe you do and maybe you don't. But I can tell you this, stranger. You needn't think you can figure out what we can't. We live here. We savvy this country. And if Nate can fool us, he sure don't have to worry about no outsiders. Both you and Nate may be surprised. Well, I ain't saying I don't hope you're right. I just don't think you are, that's all. Come on, you doll. Yeah, we'd better be moving along. Perhaps we'll meet again. Maybe. And if me and Utah here said anything to get you mad, don't pay no mind. You'd be mighty suspicious of strangers, too, if you'd been losing cows for close to three years. Yes, I believe I would. Hurry up, Bill. We've got business to do. And if there's any chance of getting evidence again, Nate, today, I want to be there when it happens. Get up there. Get, get up, up there. Bill. Bill Owens and Utah Simpson joined the sheriff and their friends and a systematic search was made of Nate Finch's range. Men had been stationed at the pass to make it impossible for Nate to move stolen cattle while the hunt was going on. But still, they had little hope that they would be successful. See any sign of a blotted brand in that bunch, Mike? Not a sign, Sheriff. Nate never used nothing but a stand brand on them critters. And if they ever wore any other brand but the Circle G, I ain't able to find it. I reckon be this way. Anybody that gets the best of Nate has got to be plenty good. Then let's get on with it. We ain't done yet by a blame sight. Get up there. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. These critters ain't no different from the others we looked at. All Circle G's. Fellas, I'm just about ready to give up. But I ain't. Maybe Nate figured the safest place to keep that Russell stock was right where he wouldn't think we'd have the nerve to keep it. Yeah? And where'd you say that'd be, Sheriff? In his own corrals. Uh, Come on. Get up, get up there, boy. Come on. Get up there. Well, Sheriff, looks like that guess of yours was wrong, too. There ain't no rustle cattle in these corrals. And what in blazes happens to them critters? Now you're asking something. Just look at the way things are. You fellas have all had your cows stole. The rustling started about the time Nate bought the Circle G. Now, cows can't be took across the mountains, and they ain't been took out by the way of the pass. And yet, by darn, there ain't a critter with a blotted brand on this rain. I was just thinking, Sheriff. Yeah, maybe Nate ain't to blame. Maybe somebody else. One of us right here started stealing when Nate came, figuring he'd be the one that'd be suspicion. Yeah, that might be. You're loco. I know every one of you fellas. 
And there ain't a one of you I wouldn't take my oath for straight. I'd have said the same, Bill, but I don't know. Here comes Nate now. Wants to know what we're doing here, I bet. Holy. Oh, 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 oh. Who give you fellas permission to come on my place? Now look here, Nate. I'm yeah. asking you a question. I want a straight answer. I can tell you what they're doing, boss. <laughs> they're looking for the cows they think we stole. Is that it? And what if it is? Just this. I'm getting tired of you fellas saying I'm crooked. If I'm crooked, prove it. If you can't prove it, keep your mouth shut. Why, you... And that goes for you, Bill Owens, like the others here. And maybe a bit more. Yeah? You're the one that's been doing most of the talking. And I ain't standing for it. I'll say what I please, when I please. You do and you'll stop late. Why, you blasted polecat. I'm twice your age. But I'm still twice the man you'll ever be. I'll... You'll do what? He got a gun on you, Bill. I'm the law here and you'll... And you'll take, take your parts and get out of here. And you won't come back less than I tell you to. Could be a nail keeping covered, boss. Now get. You're going too far, Nate. And right now you're going fast. We might as well, Sheriff. We don't want no shooting till we get evidence. Yeah. But I'm telling you, Nate, we'll get that proof one of these days. And when we do, you'll hang. Come on, you dog. Get up there. Get up there. You can't figure it out, eh? Boss, we got them fooled, and they'll stay fooled. Uh, there ain't no one of them fellas that'll ever savvy that scheme you thought up, Nate. I'm wondering. What about? They'd have give up by now if it hadn't been for that old fool of a Bill Owens. Uh, he's the one that's been keeping them stirred up all right. But there ain't nothing we can do about that. There ain't. You thought of something, boss? <laughs> I was just thinking it might do some good to have Bill jailed. Jailed? Jailed. And if I ain't figured mighty wrong, I know just the way to do it. <laughs> Listen here, fellas. I'll tell you what I got in mind. For the next three days, the situation remained unchanged. The ranchers disappointed in their final effort to place the blame for the rustling on Nate Finch, went back to their work. On the fourth day, old Bill Owens sat in the Lazy M bunkhouse talking with his foreman. I reckon we're licked, Utah. That's what I've been thinking right along. When rustlers get too slick for a couple of old hands like you and me, it's about time we quit calling ourselves cattlemen and start the sheep raising business. Yeah. I've always said that... Sounds like we got company. Wonder who in blazes tears. Looks from here like it might be the sheriff. The sheriff? Say so you don't suppose he's found out anything, do you? Not a chance. They probably just stopped by for grub. Howdy, sheriff. Howdy, Mike. Come on in. I don't want no trouble, Bill. Huh? Gee, you fellas look like you just lost your best friend. What's ailing you? I'm arresting you both. You are... Say, you're loco. I never thought you'd turn crooked, Bill. Crooked? You call Bill crooked? Why, you must be crazy in a breed on marijuana. I'm arresting you for rustling. Now, look here, a joke's a joke, This but... ain't no joke. Now... We just found 20 of my cows with your brand on them. They'd been worked over with a running iron. No. I reckon we don't have to tell you about it, Bill. But I don't savvy this. I got I... it figured out now. There wasn't a fellow in this valley that was more trusted than you. You could take critters with blotted brands out of the valley, and nobody would look them over close enough to find it out. They was too busy suspicioning Nate Finch. Where'd you find them cows you say we stole? Right on your range. And and you fellas all us claim to be my friends. It's the other way around, Bill. It was you that had us fooled. Come along, Bill. You too, Utah. You dang digits. I ain't gonna argue. You can't arrest Bill. Take me if you wanna. But there ain't a square fella in this valley than him. We're taking you both. Why, you... Never mind, Utah. We'll go along. I... Well, when folks that have been your friends for years quit trusting you... Then it don't matter much whether you're in jail or out. We're going with you, Sheriff. But someday you will find out this is the biggest mistake you ever made. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few minutes.
Now to continue our story. Bill Owens and Utah Simpson, who had been accused of cattle rustling, were arrested by the sheriff and taken to the county jail. We see them in their cell that same evening. Utah, when the sheriff say court's gonna set? He looks for the judge to be here in about three weeks or so. <laughs> Golly, who would have thought that 30 years of honest ranching could land a feller in jail? Uh-huh. And who'd have thought that folks who was your friends for most of that time would be the ones to jail you? You sound like you're forgetting you're in jail just as sure as I am. I ain't forgetting nothing. And mostly I ain't forgetting that you've been my part and boss both for a blame long spell. Well, we've had our share of good luck, Utah. And we'll show them we ain't afeard to take the bad. What is that? I didn't hear nothing. Uh, reckon I just imagined it. Now I heard it. Come from the window. Let's have a look. Yeah. Anybody out there? Remember me? It's the masked man again. Where'd you come from? I was at your ranch when you were arrested, Bill. Say, was it you that called your horse Silver? Yes. By golly, you wouldn't be... Oh, but shucks, I reckon that ain't possible. Who wouldn't he be, Bill? I was just thinking of another fellow that's got a horse called Silver. Bill, I may be able to get you out of jail. Yeah. You mean break us out? That wouldn't help you. I will if everything else fails. But I think there's another way. I don't know what it'd be. To prove you innocent. Innocent? You ain't got a chance. Them cows of Mike Pearson's that was found on my place is all the proof the law's looking for. When I spoke to you before, I asked you some questions. In a fine lot of good they done you. I have another to ask you. Stranger, me and Utah sure appreciate what you're trying to do. But you're up against a proposition that's too blame tough for you. But answer the question anyhow. Well, if it'll please you, it won't hurt us. Have you or any of the other ranchers ever searched the valleys and the mountains for your stolen cattle? Why would we look there? Of course we ain't. I told you there ain't no way to get cattle out except through the pass. You could hide a million cows in them mountains, but they wouldn't do you no good till you got them to market. I think you've overlooked something. Yeah? What's that? I won't tell you now in case I'm mistaken, but I'll soon put it to the proof. You talk like maybe you got some scheme. Perhaps I have. Bill, is there anyone among the other ranchers who still believes in you? <laughs> That's a funny question to ask. I have to get in touch with someone who'll be willing to help you out. Well, I don't know. Bill! Who... How about Mike Pearson? Mike? Why, it's his cows that I'm supposed to have stole. Uh-huh. But I got a notion that nobody'd be more pleased to find out it wasn't so than Mike would himself. But he... Look here, Bill. Mike did what he figured he had to do. You'd have done the same, maybe, if you'd have been in his boots. Well, maybe. But if the mask fella can go to him and show him where you could be proved honest, I bet Mike would jump at the chance to help. You too, I think you have it. You're darn right I have. Yes, over. Say, is that your horse? Yes, why? Then, yep. then maybe you're the same fellow I was thinking of all the time. I'm leaving, but don't give up hope. But wait, Come I... On, Golly, Bill, what are you looking so excited about? You tall, that masked fellow's on our side. And I'll bet the lazy am and my saddle to boot that the sheriff ain't got no chance of convicting us now, no more than you have of being good looking. Almost a week went by, and although the passage of time brought the day of their trial near, neither old Bill Owens nor Utah Simpson were worried. In the meantime, Nate Finch was pleased with the success of his trick. We see him now in his ranch house, talking to the man called Lippy. <laughs> Lippy, my scheme worked out just like I said it would. Them two old fools are sitting in jail and folks have quit suspicion in us. <laughs> yeah. It's going to make it all easier for us to get the cattle we want. We never did have no trouble to speak of. Yep. But Bill was needing a lesson anyhow. Uh, where'd Wally go to? I don't know. He said something about some news he heard. He wouldn't say what it was till he'd made sure. Yeah, he told me the same thing. Uh, he ought to be along pretty soon. Where are the rest of the boys? Playing cards in the bunkhouse. Uh-huh. Well, in the morning, they... Boss! Boss, just listen to this. What's the matter? There ain't nothing the matter, unless you cause good news something to worry about. Yeah? Mike Pearson just bought some purebred cows. He did? I heard he bought some, but I didn't want to say anything till they got here. Purebred cows, eh? Now, just a second, Nate. Huh? You ain't going to steal them, are you? And why not? But look here. 
You do that, and folks are going to figure that Bill and Utah wasn't the rustlers after all. Shucks, what do we care what they figure? Them cows are just what we need. But I Hold on, Lippy. Yeah? Wally's right. We can use them cows. And even if we do rustle them, that don't prove Bill and Utah didn't run their brands on them other critters. Maybe not. But it's going to make folks do some thinking. Well, we weren't planning on quitting, was we? No, but... Any other places of them fellas sitting in jail? We can lay our hands on some pure breads. The judge can let them go a hundred times, and I won't give it to him. Boss, they're on the Pearson place now. Then we're riding tonight. Tonight? Sure. When you want something, take it before the fellow that's got it can get set to keep it. My system's to strike hard and sudden. And I say the same. Then let's go. Wally, you bring the horses around. Right. Lippy, you rouse the boys out of the bunkhouse. Well, if you figure we are. We are, and we are. Now get moving. I'll give the orders, and you'll take them. <laughs> Later that same night, the sheriff, the deputy, and Mike Pearson, the rancher, were in the sheriff's office in town. Mike, who claimed to have dropped in only to exchange gossip, seemed strangely nervous. Uh, what time's it getting to be, sheriff? Doggone it, Mike. I wish you'd go on home. I'm getting calluses on my hand reaching for my watch. Uh-huh, but uh, what time is it? It's near 11 o'clock, and it's time I was locking up and going home. Oh, wait, there, there's no hurry. What's got into you, anyhow? Mike, you're jumping around like you were sitting in the frying pan. Why, I, I just feel like company tonight, I reckon. Then find your company somewhere else. I'm needing my sleep. Oh, but, Sheriff, you I don't can talk mind. all you want. You can't keep me here any longer. Well, I reckon it'll be all right for me to go home, too, won't it, Sheriff? Yeah, run right along. Oh, God, you can't do this. You don't you need got to got something on your mind? No, it's only Then that we're I... leaving. Well, I, I sure we should stay a while longer. It can't be done, Mike. We're going to go. What the? I was afraid you'd be gone. And I was darn scared you wouldn't be getting here. No, Matt. Never mind that. Say, what is it? Hey, just a second, Sheriff. Stranger, did it work? It did. Bring all the men you can get and come with me. Mike, what do you got to do with an outlaw? This fellow ain't no crook. And it was on account of him that I was keeping you fellas here. Sheriff, tonight you're going to learn who the real rustlers in the valley have been. Huh? What's more, I think you'll learn why the stolen cattle were never discovered before. Is this fella talking sense, Mike? You do what he says. Don't waste time. We have to hurry. Well, I Are want... you going to do as I say? Well, how about Bill in Utah? There ain't two sets of rustlers in the valley, is there? They never stole anything, and tonight we'll prove it. You sure of that? I am. Then come on. The hardest thing I ever done was jail them fellas. And if I can find the reason for letting them out again, I'm going to do it. Sheriff, I got a notion the masked fella is going to show us we made blame big fools out of ourselves. If he can, that suits me. Hey, yeah? the cafe's still open. You go down there and tell them fellas I want everybody along that can ride a horse. Sure thing, Sheriff. And go running. I'm on my way. And tell them to fill their gun belts with cartridges. If we're meeting rustlers, we're going to need them. <laughs> Posse was hastily formed with the masked man in the lead, raced out of town toward the Pearson Ranch. There, the Lone Ranger waited until he saw a dim glow in the distance. Then he gave the command to ride again, and the posse headed for the hill. That's a fire, ain't it? It is, and Tonto said it. Tonto? My friend, come on, Silver! <laughs> There's another fire up ahead. Ain't we getting pretty deep in them hills? I don't know how far we have to go. But these fires will go the way. That engine sure knew how to make them. They're built so they can be seen only from one direction. I noticed that. It was the only way we could blaze a trail at night. And I got a notion it's going to blaze some low-down polecats right into jail. <laughs> Nate Finch and his men, driving Mike Pearson's purebred cattle ahead of them, followed a winding trail that led them farther and farther into the mountains. At last, they reached a broad valley filled with cattle. There we are. A hundred more head. A hundred of the finest cows that money can buy. <laughs> Only we didn't pay no cash. We'll let them pay us cash. There ain't nothing more to do, is it, boss? Oh, there, oh, there, oh, there. I reckon not. Them cows ain't gonna leave the valley now. Then let's be getting back. We can just make it before sunup. Yeah. Boss, what's that? 
You see something? I ain't sure. Seemed like I seen the light, but it was gone before I could be sure. Almost just like some fireflies. Oh, uh, maybe. All right, fellas. We're heading for home. All right. Time so dark, God tired, I could sleep in the sand. Uh-huh, but we... What the... We've been following. What in blazes? Ain't that a fellow on a white horse? And there's more riders with him. Fire at him. Too blame dark to see good. Give him up or we'll shoot the bunch here down. We can't fight all of them. Fire, I tell you. Watch out for the engine. Hey, he's roping. Don't go, Johnny. He'll have the chance. Don't go. You blasted pole cat. You're the skunks that frame Bill in Utah. They're trying to think shoot him down. Take that rope off of me. Let me loose. You ain't getting loose till you're in jail. We give up. Don't shoot, fellas. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Joe, I think they should prove who the real rustlers are. You're doggone right it does. Hog time, boys. We're starting back for town right away. Look at all them cattle in the valley. Except for those that have died, you should find every cow that's ever been stolen from you. I can't figure this out, stranger. Why in blazes should these fellas steal cows and leave them here where they can't be sold? Because they was doing just like the masked fella figured they must have. Yeah? They kept the stolen cows here, then took the calves each season and put their brand on them. Huh? That way they wasn't running no risk. The calves didn't have no brands but what they put on them. And they never tried to sell the cows that had our brand. That's the slickest thing I ever heard of. That's why the masked man had me get purebred cows. He figured as long as calves was what they wanted, they'd jump at the chance to steal purebred stuff to improve the breed. And they fell for it. That redskin trailed them here. Well, thanks to the masked man, this is one stunt the rustlers won't be trying around here for a long time to come. <laughs> Not these rustlers, anyhow. They'll be too busy hanging from the end of a rope. And, Mike, I'm going to ask Bill in Utah if they won't give me the lend of theirs for the job. Oh! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.